I love dealing with retired pilots, but I don't know where to find more. I'd love to work with more retired pilots. Where would I go to find and meet more retired pilots, Nick? The answer he gave me blew my socks off. Never forget that. He says, oh, well, a whole bunch of retired pilots have planes out at the hangar. Why don't you come up to the hangar one day and I'll introduce you? I would have never thought of that in a million years. This is a marketing question to find more people you're looking for. This is a marketing question, a favorable introduction question to find more people. Because I truly believe your clients might not refer you to anyone, but they'll introduce you to everyone. They're comfortable introducing you. Ask for an introduction, not a referral. Ask for an introduction, not a referral. It's so much easier. So I go to the hangar. And I walk in and say, he says, hey, guys, I'd like you to meet Grant, my financial advisor. Hey, guys, I'd like you to meet Grant, my financial advisor. What just happened in that sentence? I was vetted. Hey, first person walks up. Nice to meet you. Nick was talking about you. I know I've got an advisor, but I'd love to have a coffee with you someday. Just pick your brain. Sure. Great. Meeting number one. Meeting number two, someone comes up to me and says, Nick was talking about you, and here you do some speaking. Would you like to come to the Retired Pilots Association and do a little talk? I'm like, no, I'm busy that day. What kind of question is that? Of course I would. I'd love that opportunity. This is the kind of stuff that when you go and ask your clients for help, you'd be blown away by the answers. I don't know how to find a group of surgeons, but I taught my advisor on how to ask his surgeon client this question. Hey, if I was to meet a group of surgeons, where would I go? Most of the surgeons says, geez, I don't know. We're busy people. One surgeon says to him, well, I have a study club. I hold up my house. Why don't you come over? And I'll introduce you to some people. We're having a picnic. Six new clients later, one question. Okay, one last little story. One of my clients asks, hey, if I were to meet a group of retired farmers, successful farmers, where would I go? He says, ah, the coffee shop on Friday morning. Why don't you just come and join us? He goes there, sees a bunch of people in, dressed in overalls, you know, mud and dirty, probably worth multi-millions of dollars. And he meets a whole bunch of wealthy farmers. So I don't know where to meet a group of people you're looking for, but I know the people to ask. So just ask this question. You'd be blown away by some of the answers that you're going to get. I could tell you stories all day long on that one question. So webinars. A webinar is an excuse for activity. It's not about getting a whole pile of people. It's not about getting the people to the webinar. Yes, that's important, but a webinar never looks empty, right? A webinar never looks empty. This room doesn't look empty does it, right? My first webinar, I had one attendee, but I got seven appointments. The whole goal is to get appointments. So it's an excuse for activity. It's an excuse to call people. Hey, join my webinar. Hey, anybody else who could join my webinar? Hey, could you send this to a friend? So the whole idea is getting content, getting communications, getting material to clients and prospects, and getting that activity going. It books a date and it gets your activity going. So I, I highly encourage, and Sharon's heard this a hundred times from me, book a webinar, you'll get a whole pile of activity going. And you're like, oh, geez, I, I got a date now. I got I to gotta get going, right? It makes you get going. So one last idea, do feedback with your clients. Pull them together in a video meeting and just ask for feedback. Hey, how are we doing? What are we doing? Here's some things I'm thinking of doing. Here's some webinars I'm thinking of doing. Here's some topics. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? You'll get amazing feedback from your clients. And you can tell them, hey, i like to work with more people like you. Where would I go? What would I do? How would I do it? Your clients will give you the best marketing ideas you'll ever get. I got all my marketing ideas from my clients and I put it in a book, right? They weren't mine. They were my clients. They gave me these ideas. So ask your clients. Feedback is critical. And, and then do your board of directors. Do your COIs in a meeting. Do the same exercise. You'd be blown away by, hey, I'm looking to get a few more clients. What would I do? How are you doing it? Talking about that. You'd be blown away by really getting those ideas going. You get really inspired. So I'm going to finish off by basically thanking Charian for having me here to talk about mentorship because mentorship is about your destiny. What is your vision for your life? This is your destiny. It's time to implement. Implement one idea you got out of today. It's going to be tremendous successful. Charian, I'm going to turn it back over to you. Thank you.